Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. It's Friday, and on Friday, we play Ghostwire Tokyo. We've made some progress in the story mode the last time that we played. We got the Kappa Yokai, lured them in with a cucumber. And I believe we did a couple side quests as well. And now that we know that one of the main bad guys is heading to the subway, we're going to be following them and seeing what they're up to. So without further ado, let's get in the game. One other thing that we also did was notice quite a few different variations of some of the visitors that we've been fighting against. All right, we landed on this rooftop from way up there. We've cleared Tory gates and we saw a person heading into the subway system right down there. I want to check the map. Looks like we got some side quests, but they're back behind us. I don't feel like backtracking to go and do them. Crimson Moon. Someone wants to get in touch with KK. And there seems to be a spirit with something to say over there. Alright. Let's continue going forward with the story mission. is clearly a trap. A maze of death. Use that, or it could go over here. Looks like this dead ends at the end, so let's go see what we can find. and my rights mixed up. Now let's just buy drinks. So much for that. Press the wrong button. Uh. 
Doesn't look like there's much of anything else down this way. So many phones down here, though. I wonder if that's by design of the place this is supposed to represent. Uh, they just decided to put that in there for the game. So empty. Lots of big bright screens though. This is an arcade. It is. Wild fighters. Will it let me sit and play? An arcade. The Turbo Student. A report written by KK regarding mysterious student running along a highway. Acquiring this will grant you additional spirit skill points. Alright, so we can't sit and play an arcade game. This isn't like Yakuza, where you can go into the Sega arcades and play all the like Sega classic games. Manaki Niko, statue of a cat standing on its hind legs, a paw beckoning onlookers said to bring happiness. I could have sworn I heard something make a sound. 
I thought maybe it was a raccoon, but maybe it was that eco statue. Come to think of it, we haven't seen very many raccoons about. There it is. There's gotta be stairs here. There's one more over here. something. Aha. Uh -huh. A ghastly knife, the favorite instrument of Hanako-san, a ghost said to haunt the restrooms of Japanese schools. Do we just find a bunch of ghastly knives and eventually run into Hanako-san? これで敵の動きを止められるぞ。これで敵の動きを止められるぞ。これで敵の動きを止められるぞ。これで敵の動きを止められるぞ。これで敵の動きを止められるぞ。これで敵の動きを止められるぞ。これで敵の動きを止められ
Obaka Netsuki. Do tongues have something to say about our health? It's like a lantern, like a mimic lantern. So that sound that we hear is whenever there's an item of interest nearby that we need to pick up. Let's go down here. File number 178, a recording left behind by a certain scientist discussing his daughter. through the floor. came up saying what it was for. ここにあいつがいるのか。だと Oh, yeah, I did. 
to a fighting arena. Is this going to be an Oni? It's an Oni. And he uses wind attacks. Really bad. Perfect blocking. Immediately before an enemy attack lands, the trigger perfect block will parry an attack without taking any damage. I wonder if that's what I just did. <laughs> to human form. I think that's a human form. Last of the mask right off. Hey, Madora, say out there. What's underneath the mask? No, 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 Person's face. お兄ちゃん。またall right then. so we no longer have kk possessing us modotanoka <laughs> Oh, 
just a regular person. さ Working a solo. When Akito is separated from KK, any actions that rely on spiritual energy are severely limited. Akito will be unable to perform ethereal weaving techniques in combat and some other movements and investigation abilities become similarly unusable. However, Akito won't be left totally defenseless. When working solo on the streets of Shibuya, he can still make use of items, absorb spirits with Katashiro, and use his bow and arrows as well as Quick Purge to defeat visitors, among a few other things. Do we have... no, we don't have a way to be able to... Check back over here besides this humongous shrine. Can I climb up this scaffolding and see what's at the top? This is as far as it'll let me climb. Alright. Those are lights. So how are we supposed to get out of here? Some arrows here. We can't tell where the little thing is in this tree is at since we can't do the investigation power it's up here looks like I may be able to go all the way through this side did see one visitor at the end to sneak up on. This is now turned into a stealth game. Oh, they already failed. So men
It's a talisman. The scissors. Hey there. Bet I can't get my arrows back. Just need to wait for the lady with the scissors to go through. And then we'll quick purge her. So maybe we don't quick perch her, we just go past her. But we definitely quick perch this one. She was pretty difficult to fight, as I remember. Spirit over here that we can get. Alright. Let's go back up. I'm gonna avoid those, because I think if I use my melee attack, it's gonna alert her. Put phones all over the place, but they can't put arrows everywhere, huh? an open door. Thought that was closed. I'm 
のかなんとか切り抜けなきゃ But that's not super loud to alert anybody. I wonder if we can still fast travel. Still pull up a map using her hand, though. This kid keys up. You cannot fast travel without KK. You can't really use Tengus either. Travel by rooftop. And if we level up, we're going to be learning what kind of uh, bow moves that we can get. There's one down there. Two down that way. Can't read dog minds anymore. At least we can stop off at markets and buy arrows. Machine. The 
temptation is there. してたみたいじゃない。あの口の悪い男と。で。助けたいのね。でもできるかしら。そのおもちゃだけで。あなた。やっぱり気づいてないのね。彼との繋がりは自分の中にあるってことに。え？これ彼に渡してくれる？大切なものだから。Side. Note from Rinko. I prepared something even you should be able to use. This is pretty much all I can do for you right now. You're just gonna have to figure things out. Thicket Talisman. Thicket Talisman summons shrubs that obscure a visitor's line of sight when thrown. These bushes make for perfect hiding places to sneak around undetected. Alright, doesn't work out. Got five of them right off the bat. I think we've done all these already. Shrine, picked up that. Uh, how long have we been playing so far? about 44 minutes I think this might be a good place to stop for now because what's gonna wind up happening is I'm going to follow this thing it's gonna lead me across the map and it's gonna take time to get there and I'm gonna have to do something when I get there and then uh, it's gonna be over 30 minutes I have 30 skill points didn't even So yeah, now there's a time where we don't have KK, and that kind of sucks. Especially if you build your build around certain spirit powers. Um, one magneto to be able to do the boat speed, but I can increase the quivers. So let's do that. It's this prayer beads, and have two prayer beads on one wrist it's like we don't have a second wrist we just gotta pile them on priest tell him some capacity to six. Oh boy the craziness continues but yeah with all the ethereal weaving and stuff like that Uh, we lose all of these wonderful abilities. 
until we get KK back. But hey, that's just a part of the game. Let's go ahead and save. Still enjoying it. Still having a good time. I do like that there was that perfectly timed moment, moment where I said, uh, this is a stealth game. And then I get detected. It's Hitman all over again. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.